Hi everybody. Uh, today we are going to study genetic information and material. Again, the references I chose from Wikipedia. And uh, this week, there are a lot more topics you need to look up. So DNA, RNA, gene, genome, and exome and transcriptome, and PCL, DNA sequencing, and human genome projects. In this lecture, I wish you can learn what is the genetic information and material, and also the definition of a gene and genome. And based on that, how many genes do we have? And also, what is a genome project and its impact? As a last topic, I wish you can learn how to read or sequence the DNA or RNA and amplify the genetic information. If you look at our body, all the genetic information is stored in DNA. And this genetic information is expressed in the form of messenger RNA. And this process we call transcription. And utilizing this temporary information, eventually, this information is translated into protein. So here we can find a very interesting dual system for our body. DNA is a genetic information. And those information is coding the information of a protein structure. That means DNA is an information system and protein is a machinery system. So we have a totally isolated dual system, one information system coupled with machinery systems. In this context, we can define the gene is the information to make a protein. Let me repeat. One gene can be defined the information to make one protein. So this is the conventional definition of the gene. So that's why if all the proteins are expressed properly and then they function properly, then we can keep these harmonized conditions, healthy conditions. When we have some invaders from outside, it can be bacteria, or it can be virus, or maybe alien. Now, if they invaded our body, the balance of our body function is broken, then we become sick. Sometimes, even without those invaders, some of our own material, our own machinery of these proteins, they can be overexpressed, the copy number is too much, too many, or maybe too low, then it has a problem, the balance is broken, then also we can either be sick. Another possibility is some of this DNA structure is changed, so-called mutation happened, then also it can cause a problem. So that's why understanding those normal function of a protein and also its coding information DNA is very important to understand our body.